Hey friends, welcome to the third video about VPC service controls. Today we're going to see how we can do troubleshooting of configuration that are not working as we expect. Uh, I had to do quite a lot in the previous two videos and if you missed them, they are, you can find the links down in the description or up somewhere here. So um, without further ado, let's get started. So in our perimeter configuration, we have added the access context manager to allow requests coming from uh, uh, my IP range and my um, uh, location. So what we can do, we can modify this rule um, and we can remove the IPs and we can only keep the uh, geographic location. So what we can do, we can change the geographic location, we can say Italy. So I want to be able to operate from uh, Italy, um, but today I'm in the UK. So this, uh, we should expect this to fail. Um, what we can do is just go here. So let's see now if we can uh, hit the service. As you can see, we don't have access to uh, the service because we are supposed to operate from Italy, but I am at the moment in uh, UK. Uh, so how do we debug this? Let's assume we we do, didn't realize th this was a mistake and uh, we want to inspect this specific call. So we can call copy this and go back to the um, cloud console. So in the cloud console, we can if we click on VPC service controls, we have a troubleshoot window. This is very useful because we can simply paste the unique identifier here. And this is gonna take a second. So, and this will tell us uh, why it's failing. Obviously don't expect to be extremely uh, clear in the, in the description, it's gonna be a bit cryptic. So it's telling us that there was a perimeter violation and the perimeter doesn't have a matching access level. So uh, we have a list of attributes uh, here that we can inspect. And um, each one of these is telling us who is calling, what was the destination of the call, and what was the uh, the source, the origin, and, uh, and so on and so forth. So this is the how we can use the troubleshooter. Um, there is also another way to um, test service controls and this is by using the dry run. So this is probably a better way because the change we have done uh, had an immediate impact on the production systems. So what we can do is, let's go back to access uh, context manager. We can fix this by saying, okay, I wanted this to work from United Kingdom. So now, each call from here should work. We can test this. Let's give it a couple of seconds until everything is synced. So the call is now um, succeeding because we are executing from uh, the United Kingdom, which is one of the allowed countries. So now let's have a look how we can use the dry run mode to test the changes before we apply them. So we click on VPC service controls and we click on dry run mode. So now let's go back to a configuration that we know is broken, right? So we click on this and we edit the perimeter. So now in here, we want to remove the access levels. So we don't allow anything outside the GCP project that we have specified in the ingress policy. So we want to keep only project without allowing the access uh, level as a source. So now I'll do save. This should block, but because we are in dry run mode, uh, we didn't enforce this yet. So what we can do, we can inspect this, these are the differences, and we say, okay, maybe we don't need this access level, let's try it. So we try this, 
Now, one thing we can do in uh, VPC service controls, we can uh, click on here and go to audit logs. So an important note here, the audit log, so let me copy this first. Uh, it's gonna be clear in a second. So the audit logs are specific for the target project are not at the organization level. So when you click on that link, you're gonna move at the organization level. So you need to switch to the project that you are targeting in your perimeter. So you can go red project. And these are all the previous calls that we have done. So let me see if I can reduce this for last five minutes. Run query. So we only had a failed call in the last five minutes. What we are gonna do, we are gonna filter for dry run. So now every single call that has been executed in dry run mode in the past five minutes will show up here. None of them, uh, we don't have any. So now let's try to make a request as we said before the request is not going to fail in the console in the terminal but it should return an error in the in the logs yeah as you can see we have an error here and this error has all the identifiers and the uh, parameters of the call plus is has the dry run option specified so if we go back to our uh, uh, config what we can do if we want to revert the change we can simply click on uh, drop changes and by clicking on drop changes we are going to revert our change so now at this point we can uh, ignore the change if um, the, the result was not what we were expecting and um, we are done. So this dry run mode in uh, VPC service controls is extremely useful and uh, uh, can save you from uh, huge problems in uh, production when you have to play with the perimeter because it's extremely easy to block absolutely every single call uh, on production system in your organization and debugging them is extremely tedious especially when you have many projects and uh, uh, many rules so hope this was useful let me know down in the comment if you have any questions i'll be happy to help and uh, see you in the next one thank you bye